Hey everybody, it's Kim, and I have been playing around with my little pancake maker. I was talking to Gail, and she goes, we'll do a tutorial. I'm like, ah. Anyway, I've got it down to where I think I kind of know what I'm doing. So, i got parchment paper. You need that. Now the gal, I'll link her again, that showed us how to, came up with this idea. Um, and she, <laughs> she had a metal spatula. I had this. So, there you go. She had a cute little spoon. I got baby spoons coming up my ears, so I used that. Parchment paper. And what I found, I did some just freely on the parchment paper, and it's real brittle, so I don't know. Isn't that pretty, though? So I don't, I'm keeping that, but the couple others I did didn't really turn out very good, so I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But let me show you some that I came up with. I got out my wood pieces, I have hanging in a big bag <laughs> in my closet. Anyway, so this, I found that my Stampin' Up! I tried Distress, I'll show you in a minute, from Tim Holtz, and they didn't work as good. So it's just embossing powders, and then I came back in with some gold on this one. And then the back is kind of messy, but it's just going to go down on something, on a card or something. So the first one I did, and these are kind of hard to do because they have openings, so you get this pieces in there. But isn't that pretty? I wish I had more of those. I might somewhere. Okay, this is the, see the difference in the colors? This was the Distress pinks and purples. This is Stampin' Up! <clears throat> Non-Distress. So, and I can poke more of this out. I just haven't taken the time to do that. So, I did a heart. And that's Stampin' Up! And then I've gone over some of them with this Ultra Thick. Ulti, I think it's called, um, that I had in my stash. So the only thing I bought for this was the <clears throat> Pancake Maker for $9.99 on Amazon. Here's a pretty blue for a flower. And this one, I'm going to, I got it down to where I put the embossing powder on before I put it on the Pancake Maker. This does not have an on and off switch or temperature gauge. This one... If you, uh, I picked most of it apart, but I'd done the, on the pancake maker with the parchment paper, then sprinkled it, and it comes out a little messy. This one I did, and this is the Ulta Thick, I don't know, it kind of gives it that white speckly look, which is pretty, but not really what I was going for. I just did this one, I did not put anything clear coat on top, and I think that turned out pretty good. So I'm just kind of playing around. Here's another one that I did with the ultra ultra thick on top and that's this stuff now i don't think it's necessarily because i'm using i just have this in my stash stamping up embossing powders but i'm sure any solid ones i think it was that it was distress so let's do one and then i did some black on that one and i have some metallics <clears throat> so i thought we would do so I get out the old, let me set this aside real quick, coffee filter, and I'm going to sprinkle on what I want first before. Now, the gal that showed this, <laughs> she had the nice circle cut out parchment paper. <clears throat> I just cut out what I think will be, let me see, I'm kind of straddling the, what is kind of, Yes, to meet it. Let me cut the piece off so it's not so rather. There we go. It looked nicer in hers, and I think Judy, hi Judy, said she was going to cut circles out with a die, and you can certainly do that. I just, I'm disposing of them, so I'm one of those people that I don't care. So, all right, so on this one, I think I'm going to do blue yellow and this blue yellow and red and again these have just been in my stash for a really long time so i just take my sorry my spoon you know sprinkle it on where i think i want it it's not going to stay perfect it's going to spread out because it's okay I'm just playing around, it's nothing 
probably as I get more familiar with it and used to doing it. So this one is called, these are really old though, Lovely Lipstick. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm focused. Oops, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Clody. Oh, poop. Let's start again. It's because you're on here now. It's because I'm on here. Shoot. Darn it. Okay. And I should tap the stuff back into the jar, but, you know, this stuff will last me for the rest of my lifetime anyway. And I'm going to do the blue in the middle. I'm going to open this and put... I have this on top of a silicone mat that I got on Timu. So it's not going to damage anything. Okay. Now, pick this up carefully. Tap, tap, tap. And I'm just going to carefully pick that up. And put it on here. Then you close the lid. Let me move that so you can see it. Okay. I'm just going to shake that off into the garbage that's behind me here. I'm in my kitchen. I craft all this. This is a craft house, right? <laughs> oh, God. I ended up getting uh, yesterday a Lexington cart for down here. Now that I've decided, yes, I like to craft down here, I'm just going to go with it and organize it better so okay so I'm gonna check it nope it's not anyway so there you go that's what I've been doing having fun I did donate a bunch of stuff to the Goodwill or Value Village but then yeah I went in it's 30% off day but I got another bag I'm going through in my garage so that I can make a path, so I can walk around. I have um, shelves. Aren't these pretty, though? I'm so excited. This is so easy and fun. Let's check again. Hmm. Maybe I need to move it around a little bit. These are wood. I saw the gal do it on chipboard. Or, um, yeah, chipboard. And then I have this bag. Oh... This is how I do it. So I have, oops, sorry, this big bag of different wood pieces that I've been collecting over the years. And I almost got rid of them, and now I'm glad I didn't. And then I just, this is one of those big bags, large bags from Dollar Tree. And then I have this as Anna Griffin, and I've had pieces in this as well. So it's just fun. Like I said, you can't get rid of anything because uh, then it'll... You'll want it. You'll see something and go, like today, I saw yesterday somebody share. I'm going to get these. I'll do those next. Um, <clears throat> doing, altering playing cards. Just poker cards, right? Well, Target wanted a lot of money because I went back and got more stuff. Anywho, and um, so then I couldn't find them at the Dollar Tree. Went to Value Village. Got a whole pack of like five of them all showing a haul. <laughs> and then I went to a Dollar Tree that I don't normally go to. And of course they had two for a dollar twenty-five. What are you going to do? Oh, well. Anyway. Okay, it's getting there. It's pretty good. So now I'm going to take, for our purposes, I've learned you got to get it off of there. And it's better now that I didn't. It used to be I had this huge thing of goop around it, right? Because I had embossing powder right to this. Whoop. Ah! Oh, God. Okay, there you go. All right. I swear to God, if it could go wrong, it goes wrong when I'm with you guys. Okay, but I'm going to keep going because that's the way I am. All right, I'm going to add a little blue here. I swear to the Lord of Jesus. I'm talking and doing at the same time. Lucille Ball goes to craft. We're going to make this work. We're going to make it look, look like we planned to do this. Huh. Uh-huh. Put that back. Sheesh. 
seriously, watch the other gal. She's so professional and so got it all together. Okay. Read glue it. See if that works. If not, it's just a piece of wood. <laughs> all right, Gail. This is why I didn't want to do it. She's like, oh, come on. I'm like, I don't know. It's always like watching Lucille Ball trying to craft. Am I recording? I hope I hope it's getting my voice. Let's move this over. Okay, it's going to melt and be fine. There you go. Let's add a little zing gold. How about that? While it's still melting, we'll add a little more to it. So the gal that I watched, I'm sorry I don't have her name down. She did it directly on the... So, there's that. But like I said, she had a metal spoon to do it with and a real metal spatula. Or, you know, for art. But, yeah, this is working. I don't... This is in a drawer, and I never use it. I got this when I was in the condo way back when, four years ago. I've been here for four years now. I love this place. feels like home, which is awesome. I'm very happy here. Okay, let's see what we... Ooh, I like the gold. What do you guys think, huh? <laughs> okay, I'm not going to drop it this time or touch it with my fingers. So I'm just setting it over there. Take this off. I guess I could just keep using them. That's not going to do anything. Oh, I like that. A little bit heavy on the gold, but that's okay. Okay, let's do this flower. So yeah, like I said, she had it where she did just laid it down, but it's really crispy. It's real crackable, and she cut hearts out of it. I haven't tried that yet, but I just, that's so pretty. I just could incorporate it in a card, glue it down somehow, I guess. Anyway. All right. <clears throat> Let's do a yellow flower. Okay. Sorry about spilling it on the other one. Nobody was hurt, though. Thank God. Okay. Oh, this is going to be pretty. So this is called Stampin' Up. If you have this stuff, Pineapple Punch. Mm. Okay. Now, this time, before I add more, I think what I'm going to do, oh, I'm just going to put it right, oh, see, I get too excited. I'm going to quit worrying about it. I swear to God, I didn't do any of this when it, you guys, see, there's no sticky on there, right? So it's not sticking to it. I wonder if that would work, though. Hmm. Maybe we'll try that next. That might work kind of cool. Where you put the embossing liquid down. Okay. Now that I didn't put another color, I can save this if I careful. Seriously though, this stuff never goes away. It just keeps going and going and going. Okay, let's see here. And it's gonna take a while. It takes a few minutes. Yeah, so this is the dash one. Of course, I was at the thrift store today, and I had one. This exact thing for like five ninety, dollars not much less, so it wasn't a big, it's not like I wasted a lot of money. So let's see, so this one's dry, or cooled down. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. Very fun. I'm having fun. Yay. And that's what it's all about. These winter evenings where it gets dark so early, it's like, I mean, it's only 7 o'clock here. It feels like it should be 9 or 10. So, you guys are keeping me company. Okay, let's see here. <clears throat> Ooh. What is this one? Nah, I don't like that one. It's like coffee. I don't want coffee. Fee. There's another Stampin' Up. Gold Stamping Embossing powder. Huh, try that. See, I hadn't even opened it yet. Jeez. This I had since my, in my luck, past life. 
I call it. Ooh, okay. I think I'm gonna just sprinkle, because this didn't get, there's parts, I don't know if you can tell, but. Maybe it'll look like a sunflower or something. Okay, I'm gonna stop there while we're ahead. And this one is gold stamp and emboss powder. It's kind of brown, but. Okay. Okay. I've got zing in here. That seems to work good. Metallics, but they have the distress. They're pretty, but for this, it doesn't seem to. I could try it again, but it doesn't seem to work as good. I'll do a jar in the, well that one's cooking, let's do a jar with this turquoise, see if maybe it'll work better now. Do not now use this for pancakes, I don't recommend, that's not a good idea. Once you've done something like this to a baking item, cooking item. I, you shouldn't switch over to food. I guess people do eggs in it and stuff. So there we go. That'd be kind of cool. So we'll do the jar next. And I could do more than one at a time, but oh my gosh, can you see that? <gasps> so pretty. Just slide it right off. Okay. I'm going to get a new piece of this. Parchment paper. Cut it out. This is just the Dollar Tree sheets. It looked, they're working fine. Gail said she tried wax paper. Did, don't do that. It melts right to the paint. I didn't want it so thick on there, but keep messing with it. That's the one thing with doing it on here first. Okay. Try that. I think what I'm going to do is try putting that is this Versamark on the, uh, the surface and then the embossing powder and see about if that does anything different to it. Let's go for it. What do you say? So this is pretty. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, I love it. So I'm not putting anything on top and it's working out great. So there you go. Okay. Do another jar. And I'm just going to pat it with this. See if that helps, makes any difference. Okay. Let's do this jar. Maybe in Zing Silver. What do you say? Because again, it's just for fun. This is called Silver. <laughs> Oh, that's original. Oh my god. I should be using my spoon. Reason the spoon helps is you're not dumping out a whole jar of it, because believe me, before I came on here, I did that one, one of them. Not the whole jar, but a big portion of it. Okay. Check our little cooker. Reminds me of doing, remember those little easy bake ovens? That's kind of what it reminds me of. No, not even close. That kind of reminds me of that. Yeah, then it doesn't fall off as easy. There you go. So yeah, it's super fun, super easy. I'm making all kinds of little goodies here. 
So glad that I kept all these wood pieces and I'm sure I have more somewhere else. I just didn't dig too deep, but isn't that fun? Oh my gosh. So yeah, go in your stash, see if you have some of these wood pieces. They were a big thing back in the day and it's like, okay. This is probably one of my favorite ones, that's gorgeous. I like adding the gold. Let's check our little easy bake oven here, almost. I'm gonna turn it a little bit. See if it's just not touching the edge good or something. So yeah, kind of fun. So yeah, I've got all these things to choose from. More hearts, more flowers. I've got leaves down here. Those would be cool. And gold. Ooh, I need to do some of those. Acorns. I'm oh, sorry. Little deer heads. Moose. <laughs> Very cool. Like I said, I know I have more somewhere else. Just, where is it? This was from, let's check again while I'm rambling on. Almost, almost done. Um, we got this at Till Tuesday Mornings. American Crafts, Jen Hadfield. So there you go. Okay, so I think I'm going to add, it's kind of bubbly looking, I'm going to add a little bit of the silver to that, see if it, oh, I like that. It's pretty. Thank you, Judy, for telling me about this video. It's like, oh, that's cool. Close that up. I would have never thunk to do this. People that are so creative have come up. It wasn't Judy that came up with this idea. Judy's the one that shared the video with me. So, Not that Judy isn't very creative, because she is. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ooh, see, I like it when I add the metallics. That makes it really pop. Yeah, the not having it, not in putting the powder right on here really seems to help. Uh, but I need a new piece. I'm going to do this one because it doesn't have much on it. It won't hurt anything. It's just going to go on the back. Okay. Okay, so this one I put the Versamark on first. See if that does anything to it. <clears throat> Look at this. Gorgeous. Where's the one I did? Oh. Mm -hmm. See, this is before I popped out the the center. I haven't popped out the center. I don't know if I will or not. Okay, this is pretty cool looking. Yeah. I'm liking this stuff. This is fun. Very, very fun. Okay, sorry, I need to get another coffee filter. Okay, let's lift up the lid. Yep, yep, still not. This thing is hot. Hot, hot, hot. Very, very hot. I think we'll stop after this one. You get the idea. So yeah, go to Amazon, get yourself a $9.99 pancake maker. I'm sure we all have wood pieces and it could be chipboard pieces too. It doesn't have to be wood. I just grabbed the wood. It takes a little longer, I think, to heat it because it's thicker. Right? Hmm. Oh, look, it's doing that. Oh, this could take a while. It's like really heating, you know, doing the silver, silver instead of just. That is so cool looking. I'm loving it. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is going to be super cool. All right, I'm going to cut it off here. I will leave. I'll take a picture of this when it's done because this could take a while and uh, share it in the little um, picture that I do 
with the video. All right, take care, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.